गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स मार्शल अमित महादेव कबगते फ्रॉम श्री समर्थ जूनियर कॉलेज अमरावती टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक डायमेटोजिनेसिस फ्रॉम सेकंड चैप्टर्स रिप्रोडक्शन इन लोअर एंड द हायर एनिमल्स नाउ फर्स्ट लेट अस सी व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द डायमेटोजिनेसिस डायमेटोजिनेसिस इट इज द प्रोसेस इन व्हिच द फॉर्मेशंस ऑफ द gametes in the sexual reproducing organisms now gametogenesis it is of two types that is the spermatogenesis and the oogenesis now in this chapter in this video we will discuss in details about the spermatogenesis okay spermatogenesis it is the process in which the formations of the sperms from from the from in the sexual reproducing organism and it is produces from the primary germinal epithelial cell or it is also known as the primordial cells okay now let us see in details onset of the puberty what happens the hypothalamus hypothalamus it is the part of the brain which secrete the hormones gonadotropin releasing hormones and this gonadotropin releasing hormones it stimulate to increase the secretion of the follicle stimulating hormone which is secreted from the anterior regions or anterior lobe of the pituitary glands okay then this follicle stimulating hormones it induces the testis to secrete to induce the process of the spermatogenesis means that here the process of the spermatogenesis will be initiated in the inside the testis inside the seminiferous tubules from the primary germinal epithelial cell we know that in last video we we'll discuss about the structure of the testis inside the testis there are the number of the seminiferous tubules are present and each seminiferous tubules it is internally lined by the cuboidal epithelial cells and this cuboidal epithelial cell it is this layer it is known as the germinal epithelial layer and this germinal epithelial layer is cells these cells from this cell these are involved in the process of the spermatogenesis means that the these cells these are undergoes the process different stages and to form the male gamete it is known as the sperms okay now spermatogenesis this process it will be divided into the these three phases first phase multiplication phase second phase growth phase and the third phase that is the maturation phase okay in this three phases this spermatogenesis will be completed now let us see in details about the this three stages now first stage we know that the here the primordial cell this primordial cell means which cell it is the epithelial cell which are present internally in the seminiferous tubules this cell are undergoes the process of mitosis to form the number of the cells means that there are the billions of the cells are produced in this process this primordial cell is a diploid in condition then to form the number of the cells are formed these new newly formed cells are known as the spermatogonia okay then this spermatogonia these are also again diploid in conditions and each cell contain the 46 number of the chromosomes okay now here the first stage will be complete this stage it is known as the multiplication phase okay now this spermatogonia these cells are now there is the division of the cell will be stopped and what happens that the growth of that cell will be increases due to the accumulations of the food material inside that cell the cell will be increase in their sizes but these cells are also again diploid in conditions means that there is the 46 number of the chromosomes and then these new cells is known as the primary spermatocytes okay now here the second stage that is the growth phase will be completed now what happened in the next stage actual stage the third stage is known as the 
maturation phase or maturation stage now this spermatocytes these cell are undergoes the process of meiosis meiotic division and we know that in the meiosis there are the two phases that is meiosis 1 and the meiosis 2 and there is the reduction of the division will be takes place now firstly that these primary spermatocyte it undergoes the meiosis 1 to form the two new cells two new daughter cells are pro produces this is known as a secondary spermatocyte now this secondary spermatocytes these are haploid in conditions and it contain the 23 chromosomes okay now again what happened then this secondary spermatocytes these are undergoes the second stage that is the meiosis 2 and to form the newly four daughter cells are formed these new cells new formed cells are known as the spermatids and this spermatids these are also the haploid in conditions and it contain the 23 chromosomes now next stage here the maturation phase will be completed now this spermatid it undergoes the process of spermiogenesis and to form the to form this spermatozoa or the sperms now we are sperms will be producers now what happened in this spermiogenesis in the spermiogenesis these spermatid these are non motile in conditions these are under developed conditions uh, so these cell this spermatid these are modified or these are metamorphosed into the spermatozoa these are the motile in conditions and it is elongated in conditions during this process again there is the changes will be takes place that is the acrosome will be forms then the mitochondria will be uh, produces uh so here that this condition this modification will be takes place and to form the sperms or the spermatozoa now let us see in details about the structure of the sperms here structure of sperm now the structure of the sperms it consisting of three parts that is the head middle piece and the tail okay now let us see the first part head region the head of the sperms it is the oval in shape and it consisting of this large nucleus it is also the oval in shape at the topmost positions of this nucleus there is a cap like structures will be produces it is known as the acrosome it is it plays an important role in the process of the entry of the sperms into the eggs or the ovum what happened this acrosome it contain or it secrete the three these three different type of the hormones that is the thyroidase hormones which dissolve the outer membrane of the eggs and it help the sperms to enter the eggs or the ovum then it also secrete the another hormone that is the proteolytic hormones it is known as the zonalysin and the third hormones which is secreted by this acrosome it is the corona penetrating enzymes so these three important hormones secreted by this acrosome okay now this head regions uh, it again contain the another regions that is the neck regions this neck regions it contain the centriole and this centriole it is it get rearranged into this two parts that is the proximal centrioles and the distal centrioles which are again important parts in the uh, in in the uh, in the fertilization process now next part that is the middle piece this middle piece it contain the axial filaments which will be arises from this distal centriole this proximal filaments it is surrounded by 10 to 14 turns of the mitochondria and this mitochondria again it plays an important role in the it provide the energy it supply the energy for the movement of the sperms okay so this function performed by this mitochondria which is present in the middle piece 
Then the third part that is the tail regions. This tail regions it is the long, slender, elongated structures tapering at the this end. Then this it contains the this axial filaments and the cytoplasm. But at the some regions this axial filament will be surrounded by this plasma membrane. This region is known as the principal piece. But the, at this tapering end, there is only the hair-like structure or the there is only the axial filament will be present. This plasma membrane will be absent. This region is known as the end piece. And then this is about the structure of this sperms, which is important in the process. It is the male gamete. It is help in the it is involved in the process of the fertilization uh, when this sperms will be fertilized or the fused with the eggs and to form the zygote and then this after this process the fertilization before fertilization that the oogenesis that the development of the eggs it will be seen in the next video so that here the first topic that is the spermatogenesis will be completed if you like my video then you press like buttons and it will be shared uh, to the others. Thank you very much.